So this video is for um, Lash Lift service, and we're gonna start this video as if we had just arrived to work. So the first thing that you're gonna do upon arriving is you're gonna go wash your hands. So you're going to go to the sink, and you're gonna wet your hands, and you're gonna get some um, liquid hand soap. You're gonna wash your hands down to your wrist. You're gonna wash the back of your hands down to your wrist. You're gonna wash your fingers. You're gonna wash the backs of your fingers. Um, fingertips and nails. You're gonna wash between your fingers, between your fingers and your thumbs. Um, you're gonna wash your thumbs. You're gonna wash your wrists and you're gonna do all of that for at least 20 to 30 seconds. Um, and then you can do a proper rinse underneath the um, sink. Once everything is rinsed, um, grab disposable paper towels or a clean towel, turn the water off, thoroughly dry, your hands, put it in the trash, and then get your hand sanitizer, 70% ethyl alcohol, and you're gonna dry those hands thoroughly. Um, then you need to set up your uh, clean, disinfect your room and set up your uh, station because you're, you have a lash lift client coming. So let's talk about what we do to prepare our workstation. And we would do, always do this, of course, when we can before the client arrives. Um, we'll disinfect the workstation, the bed, and the equipment using a disinfectant wipe following the manufacturer's instructions. We're going to check equipment to ensure that all devices are in safe working order and plugged into a working receptacle. We'll dispense products needed for the service. You'll do that by preparing disposable portion cups for each product with a portion of products by opening the top of the container and ensuring the tip of the nozzle does not come into contact with the disposable portion cup tray, or you can remove the product with a disinfectant or clean single-use spatula. Close the lid to the product and set the portion cup tray on the tray. You'll drape your facial bed using one fitted sheet, one flat sheet, and three towels. Place clean laundered sheets down on the disinfected facial bed, placing a towel horizontally at the head of the bed. Lay a hairnet and headband on top of the first towel, along with a rolled towel to support the head and neck of the client. Save the third towel to lay across the client's decollete, or you could use disposable tape table paper to drape the bed. Um, we are going to um, assume that we've done all of that and I'm going to show you the setup tray that we have ready and prepared for our um, lashes, lash lift. So we have of course these single use um, wooden tipped q-tips. Um, we have a bowl of warm water. We have um, a product that's like a Vaseline, etc., to go underneath iPads. So we have iPads. We have our silicone rods and we have our lash lift tool. Um, we'll pretend like this is lash glue. We have cotton rounds. We have disposable gloves, of course. Um, we have something to lay over her eyes at some point. Um, I always just have some gauze squares. We have makeup remover. We have our lash lift lotion and we have our setting lotion. Um, everything that we need and even extra is on our tray. So you would um, want to greet your client and get them set up first. And what you want to note about that is that you always greet your client with clean hands. So my hands are clean. I'm going to wash them again, of course, before the service, but I'm going to go greet my client and then I am going to um, do my client consultation and then I'll get her situated and wash my hands again. So we would greet our client and escort them to the work area and assess the client's current style. We will determine the client's preferences and assess the client's needs. We'll assess the client's skin by performing a skin analysis to ensure that there is no inflamed, infected, broken, raised, or swollen skin in the area to be worked on, or an open wound or sore in the area to be worked on, infection or infestation, for example, lice, to prevent from safely performing the service. We'll assess the client's consultation form for any medications and products used within the last 72 hours and consult on any known allergies. We'll consult with the client on any facial surgeries within the last three months, and if the client is under a physician's care, we'll assess if the client is prone to cold sores or fever blisters. We'll assess if the client has used exfoliating or lightening agents within the last 72 hours, like alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids, hydroquinone, etc. 
will assess facial injections within the last three weeks, like Botox or hyaluronic fillers, if the client is free from the above contraindications, you can move forward with the procedure, which our client is in tip top shape. So we're going to do that. We are going to now get her comfortable in at the facial bed. So she is, we're going to let her get, she doesn't have to disrobe or anything, get her get comfortable on the bed, get her tucked in. And then we are going to put the rolled towel under her head. We're going to put her headband on to keep her hair out of the way of her lashes. And then we're going to use another towel so that we can cover up everything so she doesn't get anything that we might have on her clothing or her person. And then it's time for us to wash hands. So once again, we go to the sink and we wet our hands. We get that uh, coin size of liquid hand soap and we wash our hands down to our wrist. We wash the back of our hands down to our wrist. We wash our fingers, the backs of our fingers, fingertips and nails. We will wash between our fingers, between our fingers and our thumbs. We're going to wash our thumbs. We're going to wash our wrists. We're going to do all of that for a minimum of 20 to 30 seconds. Thoroughly rinse everything off. Um, once you have the proper rinse, you're going to get those disposable paper towels or um, a clean towel and you're going to turn off a faucet, completely dry your hands off, toss the disposable paper towels in the trash, and then grab your hand sanitizer 70% ethyl alcohol and go ahead and sanitize your hands. Now you want to make sure you get good and dry because you're going to be putting on your disposable gloves now for the rest of the service. And it's really hard to do if your hands are wet. Okay, and once your gloves are on, you can begin your service. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna clean off her makeup. So we're gonna get two cotton rounds with makeup remover to remove makeup. And um, with that, you uh, can do this as many times as you need to. So you just want to make sure that you remove the makeup. Um, you want the eyelashes clean and dry. So if you need to do this a few times, go for it. Depends on your client. Maybe your client came in with a lot of makeup. Maybe your client didn't come in with a lot of makeup. So it just, you just have to figure it out as you go along. So we've got her makeup off, but it's wet. So I'm going to also dry the area. That's why you have some of these like gauze squares, usually extra. Always. Um, so she's dry. 
So I'm gonna put my eye pads underneath the eye and um, what I'm gonna do then is apply what um, will help the pad stick down. And when we are putting our pads on, um, note that we are also making sure that we are putting our lower lashes underneath the eye pad. We are not lifting our lower lashes. So it's gonna go all the way up to, it's gonna cover up the lower lash, go all the way up to that lash line where the upper lashes. Are. So cover up those lower lashes is what I'm telling you with your pad. You're only lifting the top lashes. And once you've done that, and that's stuck down, you can um, measure your uh, silicone rods to see if you have the right size for your client. And you do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a little bit of the lash glue on the bottom of the pad first just gonna pretend to do that. And then you would place the silicone rod on the lid and you would press and hold it for five to 10 seconds or so to make sure that it is, um, has adhered and is um, then stuck there, which is great. Not like permanently stuck, but it'll stay there for you to do your lash lift. So you're gonna do that. Obviously that's not gonna be the case with this, but I'm pretending that it is. So I'm gonna put some lash glue on my silicone rod, and then I'm gonna put it and hold it on this eye as well for five to 10 seconds, making sure that it sticks. And once it's stuck down, we are gonna use a little bit of the lash glue on the silicone rod and we are going to then glue our lashes to the silicone rod. Now, I obviously don't have the lash glue. I obviously don't have the silicone rod stuck down. So I'm gonna kind of hold it to show you what I'm doing, but I would in a service. So I'm gonna get my lash lift tool and what I would do is start from the outside and work my way in towards the nose, toward the inside of the eye, and I'm just pulling my lashes up and on the rod and they'll stick, which they, this won't because I don't have the lash glue and the thing stuck down. But just so you know, this is gonna take some time because this is where you want everything stuck how you want it to look. So after you get it on there, stuck on there. You're gonna take the time to use this lash lift tool and separate and place them uh, in the direction that you want them to be lifted. So, you know, not sideways, cl clumped together, all over each other. So you're gonna take the time to go through the lashes, get them to stick to the silicone rod, and then to separate. So I'm just gonna pull the rod up and back a little bit so I can pretend to do that work because obviously I can't stick the rod down or stick her lashes to the rod, but this is what I would be doing. And then I would, once it's stuck down, I would be going back and separating and making sure that they all look right and they're all going in the right direction. So I'm giving it the time that it needs to take to do it.
wouldn't happen either because I would not be moving the tool that way. Everything would be going this way and up. It's just that I'm working without that rod, so I'm just taking a minute to separate. And you can see sometimes her lashes will stick to the product that I've put on there, like that. I, you probably can't see that in the video, but then you, that's exactly what it would look like when you need to go through and separate it out. And once you feel like you've got one side looking the way that you want it to, then you would move to the other side. And this is just um, where you wanna take your time and be a bit of a perfectionist because however it lifts, it's gonna stay that way. So this is where you wanna take the time to make it look like spectacular on that rod and that way it can look spectacular off the rod. and I'll move um, over to the next eye. And I will use a little bit of the lash glue to get the lashes to stick to the rod. And starting from that outer corner to the inner corner. And then separating them out. Once you feel like, once like I said, they're facing the right direction, they're doing what you want them to do. Um, you'll be set up for success and um, you can put your lash lift lotion on and it's gonna look really great when the rod comes off. So I'm just gonna scooch that rod back down there like, like they're on the rod even though we know it's we're pretending. Okay, so at this point, um, everything's in the correct place. We are going to um, add our lash lift lotion using an application brush, which I do not have, so we're going to pretend like I'm using a application brush. Um, and you would want to apply this. Remember, they would be stuck to the rod, so much easier to do than what I'm gonna to pretend to do. From the root, three quarters of the way up. You don't wanna get it to the edge because that's where the most delicate lashes are, and um, you don't want it to like look icky and over-processed. So we're just gonna paint that on. We pretend like we have the brush. And then you're gonna do the other side as well. from the root three quarters of the way up. 
and once you know you paint that lash lift lotion on you may find that you need to go back in and you know separate some straighten some because this is where it's going to be uh, that proper placement is going to be critical so going back from here and of course it would look like flat on your rod it wouldn't look like it mine does right now just because it's not really on the rod And um, you would obviously be following manufacturer's instructions on um, timing. So we're just going to pretend for sake of um, this product that we would allow the lift lotion to process for five to 10 minutes, depending on the strength of the lashes. Some can process as fast as three minutes. So we've set our timer and we're going to move forward like all the time has elapsed. Um, because for the sake of the video so timer is done and now we need to remove the lash lift solution so you're gonna go dry then damp then dry so you're gonna get a little cotton round and you are going to remove it dry first so remember these lashes would be it stuck to this rod so I'm just gonna gently wipe up on that rod to remove that lash lift solution gentle gentle and of course with my lash lift solution I don't want to get any on the skin and I would have been mindful of that as I was applying it anyway other side other eye so I'm doing the dry remove first And then I'm going to be doing a damp remove. So I've got like a damp Q-tip and I'm going to also gently wipe up, removing any of that lash lift solution that might still be there from our first time. Another damp Q-tip. And then we would go back with the dry and make sure everything's really, really dry. Of course, these guys would be stuck to the rod, mind you, stuck to the rod. Not looking like they are right now. And then once you feel like those lashes are nice and dry, of course, they would be stuck to the rod. <laughs> I keep saying that. Um, we would apply our um, setting lotion. So we would use an applicating brush to do that. I don't have that, so I'm going to use this Q-tip as my applicator brush. And I am going to apply setting lotion the same place I applied the lash lift lotion. And of course, taking the time to place the lashes, you know, they would be stuck on your rod. Like if you need to comb through anything again, you would, making sure it's in the right place. Just want everything to look so beautiful.
And um, now we will give her a little rest moment here. We're gonna cover her eyes and let her um, rest. And we would also follow manufacturer's directions for your setting lotion, depending on um, what they say. Um, for here, we're gonna say process for five minutes, maybe less for a thinner hair structure. Um, and we're just letting her have some comfort um, and some relax. I just would tell her that you're here and just it'll be a few minutes and you'll let her know when it's time to take it off. So um, we're obviously not using a timer. We would come in and um, now remove the cotton or the cover and I would always come in and touch first so you don't scare scare them. And then we're gonna start with our dry wipe before we get the wet. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna do a dry wipe, upper wiping away. And um, then we are going to come in with that warm water uh, remove. Um, you can use cotton around our Q-tip. And what you're going to do is um, wetting it, removing it, and then we will um, gently, you can make little circular motions. So you could do it this way as well, like with the Q-tip and then it will not only clean it but then it separates the lash from the silicone rod and then so you can take the rod off and then you'll be able to easily remove the gel pad. Same thing, get your warm water. You're going to go on top here and you're going to go with those cir circles and help the lashes separate from the rod gently separate from the rod and then you'll be able to take the rod from the eyelid of the client and you'll be able to remove then the pad underneath the eye then you can take that wet cotton and clean up under the eye on both sides And then we're gonna go back in and dry, obviously, the eye. And you can take a clean mascara wand if you want to and comb through just so you have the lashes looking exactly as you want them to look before presenting to your client. The results of the service. My poor girl's lashes look like they've been through a hurricane, so just ignore that. Oh my goodness, yeah. I don't even know what to say at this point. This one right here cracks me up, okay. Um, and she looks awesome. So what you do is show her how fantastic they look. Oh my goodness, they look amazing, I know, right? And um, then you'll be able to um, remove her headband, the additional linen, um, your disposable gloves get to come off and tossed and then you would take her to check her out at the um, front and you would go over um, obviously maintenance, aftercare, get her booked in for another appointment however long um, they uh, say that the service will last 
and um, then you have a full day and a full schedule. So you've got to get back to your area um, to clean up and prepare for the next client. So what you're going to do is go to your tray in room and um, any single use items need to be discarded. You will find those implements and you'll put them in a closed container that is labeled to be disinfected. You will um, get the lawn, all the dirty linen and you're gonna put it in a closed container until it's time for laundry out of the way. You will um, identify a cleaning um, agent and read the manufacturer's directions. Follow the manufacturer's directions for mixing and usage. Wipe down your workstation and area with that cleaning solution to remove debris. Then you're going to find a disinfectant that is bacterial, cidal, virucidal, fungicidal, EPA approved for use in a salon setting. Put your gloves on. Follow the manufacturer's directions for mixing and or using appropriate aerosol disinfectant. You will disinfect electrical equipment store it in clean areas separate from other implements, remove those gloves, throw them away, and it's time for your final hand wash. So you're gonna wet your hands at the sink, you're gonna get that coin-sized amount of liquid hand soap, rub your hands together, um, washing down to the wrist. You're gonna wash the back of the hands down to the wrist. You are going to wash your fingers. You're gonna wash the backs of your fingers, you're gonna wash between your fingers, between your fingers and your thumbs. You're gonna wash your fingertips and your nails, um, all of that wash for a minimum of 20 to 30 seconds. Put your hands under the water, rinse them thoroughly. When they've had that proper, proper rinse, grab either a clean towel or disposable paper towels, turn off the water and um, dry thoroughly. If it's those disposables, you're gonna throw it in the trash. Otherwise, put it with the linen in the closed container for laundry. Get your 70% ethyl alcohol hand sanitizer. Go ahead and sanitize those hands up and then you're ready to set up for your next service and client, which I think is your next client that's coming in is Lash and Brow Tint. So this concludes the video for Lash Lift only.